struggling with his own ailments, Willie was in need of assistance. Yet Dr. Barry, burdened by his private sorrows, had firmly denied any help. Deflated and powerless, Fred departed from the clinic with Willie, his eyes filled with concern. Now, standing outside Dr. Barry's residence, the atmosphere was starkly different. It was Dr. Barry's birthday, a day he wished he could simply bypass as his morale was at its lowest after enduring several difficulties. He had even turned down a community invite to a celebration in his honor. Opting to seclude himself in his apartment, however, unexpectedly, a crowd had assembled outside, calling out his name and urging him to partake in the festivities. With hesitation, Doctor to confront the assembly, bracing himself to offer only a few reluctant smiles. Yet, when he opened the door, the sight of Fred and a healthier-looking Willie, who wagged his tail and recognized Dr. Barry instantly, dismantled his pretense of detachment. Fred offered a heartfelt handshake, which Dr. Barry mechanically reciprocated, taken aback by their unforeseen appearance. As Dr. Barry glanced past Fred, he noticed dozens of community members, all offering him warm smiles. The sight flooded him with emotion as he grasped the significance of his earlier refusal to assist. Here was Fred, whom he had rejected, standing before him not with bitterness, but with a forgiving grin. Do you remember us? Fred inquired softly, overcome with emotion. Dr. Barry found himself unable to speak as tears began to roll down his cheeks. Expecting perhaps anger or disappointment from Fred, he instead encountered empathy and concern. Willie barked gently, as if aware of the distress. Fred placed a reassuring hand on Dr. Barry's shoulder. It's okay, Doc, we understand, he said, his voice calm. Dr. Barry, moved by this gesture of pardon and the widespread community support, could only nod, his heart burdened with regret yet touched by the unforeseen benevolence. Days earlier, Fred had sought aid for Willie, but Dr. Barry, engulfed in his own grief, had failed to notice the desperation in Fred's eyes. Now, seeing them again under such contrasting circumstances, during a celebration he had attempted to avoid, ignited a deep awareness in him about compassion and the duty of care he owed to others. Regardless of his personal struggles, this moment signified a pivotal change for Dr. Barry. He realized that personal hardships should not eclipse the professional and ethical responsibilities he bore, something more serious. He stayed awake all night, keeping a watchful eye on Willie, ensuring she was as comfortable as possible under the circumstances. The support from the community and Fred's capacity to forgive were crucial in helping him look past his personal challenges. Reigniting his dedication to his work and to those who depended on him. Be they biped or quadruped, Fred had always seen his dog Willie not merely as a pet, but as his one true friend and companion. Unfortunately, just two days before a planned trip to the veterinarian, an unexpected incident occurred that filled Fred with fear. He had been unusually distant from the homeless shelter he considered home when a sudden rainstorm started. Fred became worried, he had left Willie outside the shelter enclosure that morning. Aware of Willie's aversion to confinement, he had opted not to bring her along while panhandling, especially since the enclosure of the shelter was securely gated. As the rain grew stronger, Fred became increasingly anxious. Willie, unable to get inside the locked shelter by herself, was at risk from the weather. The shelter's doors were locked during the day, and only a passing volunteer could let Willie in. The thought of his closest companion out in the cold rain, vulnerable to sickness, weighed heavily on Fred. Willie was all the family he had. The thought of her getting sick was intolerable. That day, Fred had traveled further than usual upon learning about a potential waiter position at a local bar. Now, hindered by the severe rain, it would take him twice as long to return to the shelter to ensure Willie's safety. When he finally arrived, Fred's heart was pounding with worry. Instead of being greeted by her usual vibrant barks, he heard a weak, whimpering sound. The sight that met him confirmed his worst fears, there was Willie. Wet and shivering, her fur soaked as she tried to shake off the cold. Seeing Willie in such a condition was more than Fred could handle. He immediately removed his coat, wrapping it around her to provide some warmth. Willie, a long-haired mutt, 
usually had enough fur to keep her warm, but it was no match for the chilling effects of the rain. Fred quickly unlocked the shelter, started a fire, and kept Willie close to warm her up. Yet, the ordeal wasn't over. In the middle of the night, despite being in a warmed room, Willie began to sneeze and cough, her eyes watery, overwhelmed with concern. Fred feared she might have developed a cold that could worsen. He remained vigilant throughout the night, making sure she was as comfortable as possible. She offered to secretly treat Willie using some of her own resources and knowledge. Grateful and overwhelmed, Fred accepted her kind offer, hopeful for Willie's recovery. Throughout the night, Fred stayed vigilantly by Willie's side as she seemed increasingly delicate. By morning, it was evident that Willie's condition had deteriorated, pushing Fred into a state of deep concern. He was haunted by the thought that Willie might be battling a serious illness potentially needing urgent medical intervention. This worry was intensified by his lack of financial resources, he was nearly broke. With just enough money for a meal that day, yet, the sight of Willie in such distress was unbearable and brought him to tears. Despite his monetary limitations, Fred felt compelled to act, unable to stand the thought of losing Willie, who was his whole world. With resolve, Fred carried Willie to the veterinary hospital. Fully aware that he couldn't cover the cost of her treatment, he was ready to do whatever necessary, even if it meant begging the hospital staff for compassion. Upon arrival and after an anxious wait, he was ushered in to see Dr. Barry. Fred urgently outlined Willie's symptoms and his financial dilemma, pleading with Dr. Barry to understand his desperate situation and the significant bond he shared with Willie. He stressed that she was more than a pet, she was his family and he had been her faithful companion for many years. Losing her would crush him, and he implored for help, fearing the worst because he was unable to pay. Sadly, Dr. Barry remained indifferent to Fred's emotional plea. He coldly informed him that without immediate payment, the clinic could not treat Willie, as they did not extend credit, especially not to someone without a home, heartbroken and without any alternatives. Fred was led out of the clinic by a security guard, he lingered in the parking lot, wrestling with the grim prospect of losing his cherished Willie. Yet, unbeknownst to Fred, a ray of hope was about to emerge. Nurse Mary, who had witnessed Fred's plight during his visit, rushed outside to approach him. After introducing herself, she asked about his interaction with Dr. Barry, unaware that Mary might be the lifeline he desperately needed. Fred relayed his distressing experience. Touched by his story and observing Willie's pitiful state, shivering and sneezing, Mary felt an urgent need to help in any way she could. Given her expertise and dedication to animal care at the clinic, she was perfectly positioned to provide the necessary assistance discreetly. In that particular moment, she made a firm decision to assist Fred and Willie, demonstrating that indeed, compassion and kindness can triumph. Fred felt a comforting hand on his shoulder and turning around, he encountered Mary's empathetic look. She introduced herself as a veterinarian, who was currently working as a nurse during her training period. Even with her dual responsibilities, she was fully qualified to provide medical treatments. Fred's heart was filled with appreciation, touched by the benevolence of a stranger in a world that often appeared to lack empathy. He expressed his thanks to her, his voice laden with emotion. Mary reassured him with gentle determination that they would do everything possible to save his dog. Will, regardless of the expenses involved, she had just completed her hospital shift and had hurriedly checked out before joining Fred to go to her apartment. There, she intended to treat Will with her own medical supplies and equipment. Bearing the costs herself, upon their arrival at her place, Will's condition had deteriorated, the poor dog was struggling to breathe. Without any delay, Mary started her treatment using any makeshift equipment available while Fred looked on. Filled with hope for a miracle, it was apparent to Mary how much Fred loved Will, but it was also clear that Fred himself was undernourished and weak. Touched by the situation, Mary prepared a warm meal for both Fred and his dog. As the night came to an end, she offered Fred the opportunity to shower and sleep on her couch. Despite the risks of inviting a stranger into her home, she could see that Fred's primary concern was Will, and her initial worries gradually dissipated. Fortunately, 
By the next day, Will began to show signs of improvement. Before leaving for her shift, Mary left instructions for Fred on how to care for Will during her absence. Although slightly apprehensive about leaving a stranger in her apartment, the thought of sending Will back to the streets too soon was unbearable for her. Taking a leap of faith, she asked Fred to stay, they would continue treating Will together when she returned. Several days later, Will had made significant progress. His sneezing and shivering had stopped, his appetite was returning, and he now happily wagged his tail and barked joyfully whenever he saw Fred or Mary, bringing immense joy to their hearts. During this time, Mary and Fred developed a deep bond, united by their shared commitment to caring for Will. Their collaboration not only saved Will but also forged a friendship built on mutual respect and compassion. Fred developed a friendship with Mary, who also helped him secure a job interview at a local diner. Overwhelmed with gratitude, Fred appreciated not only the career opportunity but was especially delighted to see his cherished dog will recover. Just a short while ago, Will struggled to move, bark, or eat, but now he was lively once again, which was everything Fred could have wished for. Mary's dog, once vibrant and lively, had settled into her new home wonderfully, brimming with energy and a strong appetite. As the dog wagged her tail energetically, she would nudge Mary or Fred, hinting for more treats. When Fred received his first paycheck, he attempted to reimburse Mary for her assistance but she kindly refused, advising him to allocate the funds towards more urgent expenses like rent or groceries. Mary's kindness stood in stark contrast to Dr. Barry's earlier indifference when Fred had desperately sought his assistance with Willie. Fred felt deeply troubled by Dr. Barry's apparent apathy. The doctor was renowned in the community for his commitment and compassion, making his lack of engagement even more perplexing. Anger and confusion began to brew within Fred as he awaited Mary's return from work. Aware that she was employed alongside Dr. Barry at the hospital, Fred hoped she could clarify matters. Upon her return, Fred, with a much improved Willie by his side, expressed his concerns. Observing Mary's solemn demeanor, Fred sensed something was wrong. With a heavy heart, Mary disclosed that Dr. Barry had been profoundly impacted by a personal tragedy. Until a few weeks ago, the vet had been a jovial figure, dedicated to animals and sympathetic to their owners. However, he had been devastated by the sudden death of his own dog, a husky. Under tragic circumstances, Mary recounted that during a routine walk, Dr. Barry and his husky were crossing the street when a speeding vehicle loomed unexpectedly. The husky, ever vigilant and protective, perceived the looming danger. In a brave act of loyalty, the dog sacrificed itself to save its owner, pushing Dr. Barry to safety. Unfortunately, the husky took the brunt of the collision and was critically injured. Shocked by the sudden act, Dr. Barry stood frozen, his heart sinking as he turned to see his beloved husky on the ground. Struggling to breathe, the incident had left Dr. Barry heartbroken and emotionally withdrawn. They invited colleagues, friends, and those whose pets Barry had treated, creating an event that celebrated his dedication and healing touch. This gesture aimed to show Barry the profound appreciation and support of his community, helping him see the positive impact of his work despite his recent tragic loss. Understanding the depth of Dr. Barry's sorrow, Fred began to view the situation from a different perspective, recognizing the significant emotional effects such a loss could have on someone affecting their empathetic connections even in their professional life, struggling with the reality that his cherished dog, Brandy, had given its life to save him and was now close to death. Barry found the thought of losing Brandy nearly intolerable, feeling a deep sense of debt to his loyal friend. He was adamant about repaying the life-saving act. Tragically, as Barry, a skilled veterinarian, hurried Brandy into the surgery room for an emergency procedure. The equipment monitoring Brandy's vital signs suddenly stopped working. His colleagues, who were present during this agonizing moment, were acutely aware of the emotional strain it placed on Barry. Barry's anguished cries reverberated down the hospital hallways, leading his colleagues to rush to his aid, holding him and attempting to provide solace. Despite their best efforts, Barry was beyond consolation. 
tormented by the thought that he might still be able to save Brandy. Regrettably, Brandy passed away from injuries sustained in a car accident, a tragic event made even more poignant by the fact that Brandy's loyalty had ultimately saved Barry's life. Following the tragedy, Mary, a dear friend, explained to Fred how the event had fundamentally altered Barry. Wrapped in grief, Barry constantly blamed himself for not being more careful on the road that catastrophic day. The normally vibrant Barry was now merely a shadow of his former self. Finding it difficult to cope with the loss, upon learning of Barry's heartbreaking situation, Fred, who had initially been frustrated at being turned away by the vet, gained a new insight into Barry's mental state. He decided to aid in Barry's recovery, acknowledging that Barry's skills and kindness were essential to the community. Fred discussed with Mary his plans to support Barry for both his well-being and the community's. Mary and Fred crafted a strategy not only to help Barry move past his grief but also to remind him of the meaningful impact he had made in his field. They reached out to local newspapers, urging them to write features on Barry's significant contributions to veterinary medicine, emphasizing the numerous animal lives he had saved and the happiness he brought to pet owners. As Barry's birthday neared, Mary and Fred planned a surprise event to bolster his morale. They invited colleagues, friends, and those whose pets had been treated by Barry, organizing a celebration of his commitment and healing efforts. This was intended to demonstrate to Barry the deep gratitude and support of his community, encouraging him to recognize the positive effects of his work despite the recent adversity. Fred saw an opportunity to help uplift Dr. Barry. They planned a modest celebration to remind him of his professional accomplishments and the community's gratitude hoping it would help him find solace and begin to recover from his deep sorrow. Their intention was to demonstrate to Barry that, despite his personal losses, his life and career still held immense significance. They chose a day that was particularly meaningful to him for the celebration, making it an ideal moment to reflect on his past successes. This was because the community was also organizing a birthday celebration for him as part of their plan. To prepare. They visited several families Dr. Barry had previously helped by treating their pets. These families were informed of a gathering where they would share and recount stories of his kindness, explaining how he had faced many challenges to restore their pets to health. As the preparations progressed, a grand birthday event was organized by the community on the day of his birthday. However, to everyone's astonishment, Dr. Barry sent a letter stating he would not attend the event organized in his honor, causing disbelief and disappointment among those gathered. Nonetheless, Fred and Mary were resolved not to let this hurdle quell their enthusiasm. They decided to relocate the birthday venue to Dr. Barry's house. There, they gathered outside, chanting his name, setting up chairs, and arranging the area in anticipation. Dr. Barry touched by this show of love and respect, could not ignore the community's plea for him to participate. As he stepped outside, he was met with applause and cheers from the eager crowd, who then offered him a seat of honor. Unknown to Dr. Barry, this was more than just a simple birthday celebration. One after another, individuals whose lives he had impacted through his years of service stood up and began sharing touching stories of how he had significantly aided them. Among the attendees was someone who had informed a local radio station about the event, leading to the broadcast of this heartfelt gathering to listeners nationwide. Overwhelmed with emotion, Dr. Barry wept as he listened to the profound effect his work had on many in the town, and he regretted allowing his grief to interfere with his passion for veterinary care. The event was unforgettable, and both the attendees and radio listeners were profoundly touched by Dr. Barry's emotional display. The community then honored him with an award for his numerous contributions. In his moving acceptance speech, Dr. Barry shared the heartbreaking story of losing his own dog, Brandy. However, he mentioned that the reminder of the broad impact of his work on the community helped him recognize the error in allowing his sorrow to dominate him. He committed to overcoming his grief, recognizing that Brandy would have desired him to continue his benevolent efforts. The occasion served as a remarkable reaffirmation of the community's respect for Dr. Barry, highlighting the considerable influence that one person's commitment and kindness can exert on many lives. 
Fred had rescued his life so that he could, in turn, save more animals. When Fred clasped Dr. Barry's hand, it was evident that the veterinarian deeply regretted his previous errors. Dr. Barry earnestly apologized and warmly embraced Fred, showing a noticeable change in his behavior. His eyes shone with renewed warmth, and his smile was undeniably sincere. As they left the house, Fred looked down at Willie, whose tail wagged exuberantly, exuding happiness. Together, they stepped into the bright sunlight, their spirits elevated and hearts brimming with gratitude for the second chance given to Dr. Barry. The compassionate vet had strayed but had found his way back through the kindness and perseverance of those around him. It was indeed a touching ending. Would you have been able to forgive the doctor? Do you believe pets should receive medical treatment even if their owners cannot afford it? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. Next, there is another story. Let's continue to see it. After listening to this tale, what are your impressions? We'd love to hear from you in the comments section below. Your insights are valuable to us. Now, we have another engaging story. Let's proceed to the next one. A hurricane inflicted severe damage on a charming neighborhood in the small town of Sinton, situated at the periphery of Texas, home to a close-knit community of less than 6,000 people. The morning following the tempest, a local woman was met with an unusual sight, a lone dog. Clutching a large bag in its mouth as it roamed, in Sinton, where people are familiar with each other and deep friendships are common, residents typically keep up with local events. During this time of community closeness, the Segovia family gained attention, not due to their own actions, but because of their extraordinary dog, the Segovias, who have been living in Sinton for many years, were the owners of Otis, a large German shepherd mix distinguished by his brown fur. Otis had been a treasured family member since he was a puppy, having been adopted by Carter Segovia when he was just six years old. The story of Otis's arrival into their lives is quite touching. Many years prior, Otis was discovered by Salvador Segovia, Carter's grandfather, after a man, unable to care for the puppy, drove around the town seeking a new owner for him. Although the man was hesitant to part with Otis, he couldn't stand the thought of leaving him stranded. He handed the puppy over to Salvador, who eagerly accepted him into his home, exclaiming, No, no, leave him here. Will keep him. Otis swiftly became Carter's beloved pet and was adored by the entire family. Despite his somewhat melancholic expression, Otis's fluffy coat and gentle nature made him a beloved and friendly presence in the community. Salvador observed that Otis was well loved by all, a reflection of his gentle character. In the United States, dogs are highly favored as pets cherished for their loyalty and companionship, and are suitable for both families and individuals, Otis embodied all the lovable traits that attract people to dogs, yet he was uniquely special. Otis enjoyed certain freedoms that many pets do not. Known for his well-mannered behavior, he was even permitted to indulge in his love for burgers at the local Dairy Queen, a privilege rarely granted to other animals. Otis's local renown grew significantly after the hurricane, with his family, including young Carter, evacuated to avoid the floodwaters from Hurricane Harvey. Salvador stayed behind to care for Otis, the image of Otis navigating alone with a bag in his mouth, likely searching for food or belongings in the aftermath of the storm, touched the hearts of many. This poignant moment underscored the deep bond and trust within the Segovia family and highlighted Otis's special role in their lives and the community. T.L.E. Dawkins, who had recently moved to a Texan community, was still getting to know her neighbors when a fierce storm swept through the area. The following day, T.L.E. ventured outside to assess the storm's impact on her neighborhood. To her relief, the damage was minimal and everyone seemed unharmed. With a few errands remaining, she began her day. As Tielli walked along the sidewalk, she spotted a lone German shepherd mix deftly carrying a large, seemingly heavy bag, worried that the dog might be astray or lost. Tielli quickly took a photo with her phone, planning to post it online later in case someone was looking for the animal. Despite her worries that the dog might need help, Tielli approached the dog who turned to face her and gently placed the bag on the ground. Upon closer inspection, T. 
Tieli's heart warmed as she realized that the bag was filled with dog food, sufficient to last quite some time. After a brief interaction, the dog picked up the bag and continued on its way. Intrigued by the dog's determined demeanor, Tieli decided to follow it. The pair walked several miles until they arrived at a house owned by the Segovia family. Tieli approached the door and knocked. Salvador Segovia, an elderly man, answered. He appeared puzzled to see Tieli but was curious about her presence. Tieli excitedly asked if the approaching dog was his, pointing towards the determined canine, Otis. Salvador's face lit up with joy upon seeing his beloved pet, Otis. Still carrying the hefty bag, approached the doorstep and set it down, revealing its contents. Salvador embraced Otis, commending the dog's resourcefulness in fetching his own food. He explained that Otis knew exactly where to go to pick up treats, showcasing his cleverness. Salvador expressed how proud he was of Otis's ability to take care of himself and navigate the neighborhood. With Otis safely back home, Salvador pieced together the events of the day. Grateful for Tieli's kind assistance and delighted by the unexpected visit, the encounter not only highlighted Otis's ingenuity but also fostered a new connection between Tieli and her neighbors, further integrating her into the fabric of the community. As the neighborhood braced for the imminent approach of Hurricane Harvey, continuous updates from the news and weather channels kept the residents well aware of the severe threat it posed, in anticipation of the worst. They either stockpiled essential supplies to stay safe at home or evacuated the city to avoid the looming peril. Salvador, a resident who chose to remain, was acutely aware of the dire circumstances and began to diligently fortify his home against the hurricane's possible destruction. On Friday night, while making preparations, he rearranged items inside his house for enhanced protection. Salvador hadn't seen his dog Otis for a while and assumed the canine was quietly sitting on the back porch. Contrary to Salvador's assumption, Otis was deeply agitated by the threatening signs of the storm and became restless, despite Salvador leaving food and water on the porch. The unsettled dog was too distracted to eat or drink. Suddenly, spooked by a loud noise, Otis panicked, broke through the screen door, and ran off into the stormy night distancing himself miles from home. By the time Salvador finished securing his home, Otis was nowhere to be found. Salvador attempted to call out to Otis from the windows, his voice echoing into the storm, but there was no reply. It was too late and too dangerous for Salvador to go out searching for Otis, so he decided to wait until the hurricane had passed the next day. During the hurricane, confined indoors, Otis was unable to enjoy his usual treats like ice cream or hamburgers from the local Dairy Queen, driven perhaps by hunger. Otis might have ventured into one of the local supply stores in search of dog food. He discovered a shelf stocked with his favorite brand, Otis Roy, inside a lumber store. When the hurricane subsided and it was safe to go outside, Salvador went in search of Otis but came back home hours later, unsuccessful and disheartened praying for his dog's safe return. Fortunately, not long after, Otis returned home, knocking on the door to Salvador's immense relief. This extraordinary ordeal of Otis was documented by Tieli, who captured photos of Otis carrying a full bag of dog food around Sinton, Texas. She shared these images online, humorously narrating Otis's adventure during the hurricane and labeling him a refugee, while reassuring the public that he had an owner. Otis was simply an adventurous street dog. The touching narrative shared on Facebook rapidly went viral, amassing over 39,000 shares, and captivating audiences both local and global. The tale of Otis carrying his bag of dog food became a headline story, emblematic of resilience in the face of Hurricane Harvey's chaos. The image struck a chord with many, representing the tenacity and ingenuity displayed by numerous individuals during the crisis. In such times, they demonstrated exceptional bravery and went above and beyond to aid each other. While we cannot avert natural disasters, the persistent strength and resilience of communities serve as a lighthouse of hope, steering us through the most challenging periods. Do you have any thoughts after hearing the above two stories? We'd like to hear your thoughts. Tell us in the comments section. That's all for today's story. Please subscribe and give a thumbs up. See you next time.